Hope so, otherwise you might be able to brawls all over the ground. No, we're going to go early. And Anzac Day 2009 is underway. Essendon versus Collingwood, round five at the MCG. Fraser against Hill. Lovett's in there, but picked up by Lovett Murray. Couldn't get a clear handball away. And it'll be take two in the centre circle. Centre wing. Move it on, play on. There's Hill. Oh, he's, he's hurt, hurt himself. himself. I think he's twisted the knee. He is gone down with a knee injury, and it does not look good. And quarters, they've only got one Ruckman. Essendon's only got one Ruckman in this lineup as Collingwood, so that is a major, major controversy for the Bombers. For oh, this is this is real trouble for Essendon. David Hill, he twisted the knee, the outside of the knee he's pointing to. He's dropped the mark, landed awkwardly. And their number one ruck went off and... Uh... Jolt or a twist or anything like that, but now Paddy Rye's going to take the centre, centre square bounce. Better left to ruck all day, swans away for Collingwood. From 60 metres out, he kicks into the pocket. McCaffer! Good, good start. What a good strong. Just right, just sitting there saying, this may well be my day to dominate today. First kick in league football. 21-year-old Brent McCaffer. Has nailed it. <laughs> the target, which was gold sack. Keeps on going. Gathers now. Handball missed the target to Tuvi. That allows Stanton into the picture. Did well get it to Monfries. Monfries to Watson. Watson to Lucas. Sun in the eyes. Backing back is Brown. He's tackled well by Lucas. Love it. Dispossessed. Davies there. So is O'Brien. And O'Brien steadfast in defence. And his kick hits a target well played. Hanging it in the air. No one looking like marking it. Stanton has it to himself. Had time to wait for the right bounce. Goes for Lucas. But again, Nathan Brown doing the job. Getting his man under it, holding his own ground. For Cox, now O'Brien, it was dangerous, and Monfries gets a second chance. Gee, and this time a... he misses by Moore. Cox's kick across goal was dangerous to a teammate. To Goldsack. Throws it on the boot, no mark. Lockyer got bowled over, umpire let that one go too. Davey to Lovett, who loads up again. Here's an opportunity for Jetta. No mark. Gee, they've had their chances, the Bombers. Now Davis kicks in the McCaffer direction, but it's cut off by Dempsey. Now he's got leg speed to burn. And he hits Lucas on the chest. Oh, he spilled a sitter. The out of form, Scott Lucas. And Brown gets attack of the fumbles. Scott's uh, in, a, in a game before. Or it just, just doesn't look like he's going to get the footy, does he? No, Matty Nice, the coach, is frustrated because yeah, notice the bounces. Gold sacks in there, trying to get the hand pass to O'Brien. Now, Jetta. Oh, Brian did well. Great strength and great vision to spot up Clark. He gets back onto the left. Handballs to Pendlebury. Yes. And he kicks, looking for Medhurst to just float it to the front. Six goals last year in this Anzac Day game, and he became the Anzac Day medalist, Paul Medhurst. No problems for him. Third goal to Collingwood. Fletcher. Welcome. Long to right, a swan from behind does the spoiling. Davey. Handball's out to Stanton. And he kicks to Lucas. No free kick. Snaffled by Monfries. Looks for and finds Winderlich, who's within range. Have a shot, take the responsibility on Four matches so far this year, Jason Winderlich. From about 45. That's a better kick. taking a contested mark at all. They would love to swap that around and maybe get Matthew Lloyd in that position. He's out of confidence and that of his opponent is growing. Now Swan, a dawdle down the southern side. He's waiting for the construction he likes and he likes Thomas and the bounce was perfect. Silver platter stuff. Thomas centering for Cloak and this time he's got it. And uh, why not? Important kick here, the margin nine points. Collingwood with not too much to show for having the better of the quarter. Now they've got something for their trouble. That's a good goal. 
and the Magpies lead by 15. A break for the MCG. It's your job. We need the biggest effort we've ever had from you. Maybe you can deliver. Cloak knocks it into the corridor. Taken by Fletcher to McPhee in game 150. Out into open space. Pairs. The run provided by Lovitz. Exciting stuff. Runs his full measure and chips to Lovett Murray. He wanted to keep on going. Now he does. To Davey. Will he take on O'Brien? To Dyson from 45. Has a ping at the goals and misses to the left. 50 running out of half back. Only his uh, second possession so far in the game. Here he is. They really need him, Rob, uh, to be doing more of that if they're going to have any chance in this game. It's a difficult one to mark. Allows Davis into the picture. The Swan who squeezes the kick out. Thomas from behind can't take the mark. Cloak. Handballs backwards. McCaffer. Into the goal square. Thomas I oh, missed the mark. Lucky let off there for the Bombers. Bit of soccer played by McPhee. Now Lonigan. Fed it back to McPhee. And Essendon's done well here. Cloak can have a look. The 50 pretty crowded, trying to find the right spot. That's just about it. Rockers there with a couple against him. Didn't look like it. Watson front and square. Good delivery. Hockey. Shaped to go one way. Came in board the other. Dyson, confident. Through the middle for the Bombers. Their 50's open, but he needs to get his kick. Did it just in time. Lovett's there, and he's got it. And he can line them up. Need this badly. Andrew Lovett knows what it's like to shine on Anzac Day. Here's a moment for him. And he delivers the goods, and the Bombers are within eight points. Ryder against Fraser. Fraser couldn't find a teammate. Allows Ryder into the pitch at a hocking. Threw it onto the boot. Back inside, 50. Oh, that's a good diving mark. Taken by Lonigan. Good grab. Kicked nine goals in his 21 games of football before today. He's given it a good go. And it's back-to-back -back goals for Essendon. Right back in the contest. The goal square to Fraser. And the Pies out of trouble as he kicks to Thomas, who takes the mark at half-back. He wastes no time. He doesn't like putting himself under a bit of pressure. Still kicked beautifully. And finds Rocker. Bombing it into the 50. Setting up Cloak. Has McPhee on the hop. Had Medhurst down, but the bounce wasn't kind to him. And the Bombers hold up. McPhee, Dyson. A little bit hairy, but eventually Pears gets them out of trouble. Back into the middle and open up their options as they go forward. Myers did not get a kind bounce. He perseveres. Good tackle by O'Bree. Great stuff from O'Bree. Shades of Cyril Rioli in last year's grand final with that one. Just kept on. And now he's rewarded with possession for his team. Anthony into the pocket to Lockyer. He's got a panic. What's he going to do? He's going to square it up to Brown. In fact, it's Cloak who waited for the half volley. And well, in the end, they've knocked that up, Collingwood. Well, two golden opportunities in deep inside. Dempsey, Zaharakis, Essendon looking good again, although the kick's not great. Tuvi's in the way. And he found one Collingwood player in the middle of three Essendon players. Matthew Lloyd hasn't had a kick for 19 minutes. Thomas gets past Zaharakis. Good. Ordinary handball. McPhee driven into the ground. Free kick. And a 50. I think Medhurst was finessing and not receiving the ball, but it was a finesse that didn't look right. Just a bit too cute, I think. So McPhee from about 50. From about 55. He's given it everything. It's a good effort. And it is home. It's a goal. The Bombers are in front. And it's a goal. Essendon in front by a point. Mark Howard. Sam Lonigan back on the ground quarters. Really looks like he's got a problem with a cork right buttock, you would imagine. The doctors are telling him to keep moving, keep warm, and he looks pretty sore. Maybe the Magpies are stung now. Beams delivering to Pendlebury. Placing it well, and Anthony is a good man to receive the ball within range of goal. Beautiful. So to regain the lead, or perhaps square it up, tight spot, good kick, glorious kick from Anthony, and the Magpies are back.
back in front. Justin Fletcher. Here they go again in the corridor. Yep, love it. Murray's found some space. Yeah. Great kick. Yeah. Moves it quickly. Lloyd against Presta Giacomo. Lloyd in front. And Presti refuses to be beaten. Just couldn't quite get it out of, out of the line. Over the line, so it's still in play. Here's Dyson from 45. Throws the ball on the boot and kicks a miraculous goal. It's pre-season form was a bit more accurate than that, but technically he's good. He's just missing a few. Stanton, good attacking hand pass. Love it, Murray's not so good. Beams. Brought down by Lovett, but got it off to Barham. Collingwood are on the build, Medhurst loose. Can't break. But can see possibilities ahead. And Jack's got it again, the Jack attacks on. There's some real holes over the back line. If they turn it over, they're caught out of position on the Collingwood rebound. Won't miss twice in a row, will he? Of course he won't. Right through the middle. Magpies by a goal, Anthony two. 15 to Pendlebury, so they've done a good job this quarter in Pendlebury. He had a dozen in the first term, just three this quarter. McPhee and Stanton and Lovett Murray, all 14 apiece for Essendon. McPhee 11 this quarter. Stanton, good kick out wide to Watson. Now the lead's on from Lucas, that's ignored. Watson goes into the corridor to Monfrey. Great kick. He's been criticised uh, in the past, Joe Watson. Joe Watson set the kick up, number one clearance player for the Bombers. Angus Monfrey's two points so far in the match. Scores level. Awkward one, Barham almost stolen by Davey. Bombers with some numbers there, but Barham intervenes. Hocking just squeezing it out. Dyson, who's done some good things, and that might yet be one of them. Here's Lonigan, awkward position. Two fencing him in. He does it. Oh, a little bit of magic. But it's across the face. It hung in the air and it wobbled away. It puts the bombers in front. It by would have point. been some sort of goal, Tim. From our, from our angle, it looked like it was a goal, didn't it? But uh, just floated across the goal face. Swinging kick, but to not very much. Gold sack, little tentative. Brown, Beams, Clark on the preferred side. His only side, really. Now Leon Davis in some space. Two against him. Oh, what was he doing there? Back to Clark. Davis has to fight now. It's a, a good, mess of that. It's a good question, Tim. What was he thinking, Leon Davis? He's gone for a 5% uh, a chance handball through the middle of two bombers and uh, just hit the brick wall. In fact, it's Lonigan. My apologies against Tuvi. Lonigan does well to hold it up. Now picked up by Presta Giacomo to O'Bree. She just swings from one half back line to the other. And now Barham. That yeah. is a shocking kick. There is. He's turned it straight over. It's marked by Dempsey. Travis Clark was uh, out on the lead there. He's also been really quiet. Just six disposals. Here we go again. Essendon working it through the midfield with quick handball. Watson to Lucas. And the crowd become excited. 70 out though. Too far for him. Right Sets it up and Stanton is it. Taking the mark it is. That was the whole inside 50 available. Stanton good enough in the one-on-one. -on -one. Important moment here. Stanton produces the goal. Essendon lead by eight points. Hasn't had much practice, only 899. Lockyer throws it on the boot. Rocket could not. McPhee's been really good. Just read that beautifully off the pack. And he goes back into the corridor again, where Essendon have dominated. Mm. And here they come again. Dyson, a long ball. Lloyd against Presta Giacomo. Davey swoops. Presta Giacomo hemmed in. He's caught. Oh, it's penalised. Free kick. That is an outstanding tackle, Matthew Lloyd. Doubled back. Completely Inside 50s, just a domination by Essendon in this third quarter. If they could start converting, Colling would have got a problem. Davis, Lockyer, Swan. Magpie takeaway. Lovely low flat ball, but caught. Oh, Cloak just stole it from McPhee's hands. Cleverly done. And Anthony against the run of play. Can have a go at them, Cloak. But uh, Cloak, of course, with extra reach, was able to make the steal. Now Anthony. 
And that is a lovely looking launch. He's done it again. He's third of the day. Cuts the margin to four points. And so they're continuing that trend today. They have blown three or four golden opportunities from the kick in. They get it back. Watson to love it. Thought about having a shot. Dishes to Davey. Kicks into the goal square. Bounced over the head for a goal. Well, they caught one in the end. The long kick down the middle by the uh, full back. Collingwood had all the eggs in the one basket, about 12 players to six. They had to win it. If they didn't win it, they were going to get caught on the rebound. As they did there. They're almost two goals up. They could easily be four or five goals in front. 20 scoring shots to 14. Again, Essendon have the numbers around the ball. Stanton, to love it, you might get another opportunity here. Surely this time he's only kicking... Essendon leads by 11. Now you can make that 17. Coming into this game, they've missed some opportunities. I reckon one more goal for Essendon would be enormous for them going into three-quarter time. Oh, Collingwood will come hard in the last quarter. Those uh, fresher legs will mean plenty. Here's an opportunity now. Davis runs onto it and kicks the goal. Big goal. Yes, if they get a goal against them, you'd say, I reckon, Colin would definitely run over the top of them. If they can manage to work this way down, Matthew Lloyd just pulled up a little bit stiff there. If they can work this down and score, I reckon mm. Essendon win. Oh, he's been told to the card. He's been called. He called play on and Lloyd, I'm sure, didn't hear it. They themselves, the Bombers. He didn't hear the call. Couldn't have heard it. And Medhurst just the man to seize the opportunity for Collingwood. But no, the distance too much for him here. Fletcher will be there with a the fist. And what a fist it is. Lucas is down the back. Thomas has got him. There wasn't much of an attempt. He's lucky to survive. Davis, clever centering ball. Maybe got too much of it. Swan from the other pocket for the Magpies. And the call from Beams. And he can line them up. With a handful of seconds left on the clock. A youngster from Queensland with more ink on the arm than Dane Swan. He hooks it and he misses. And the Bombers still lead by a kick and a half as we go to the last change on Anzac Day. Final quarter. Big finish coming up. Dangerous kick. Numbers with, numbers with the Bombers. Winderlick got the hands on it. Oh, bad spoil by Zaha, fumble by Zaharakis. Slattery, Magpies have got him in a gang tackle. Anthony to Medhurst and coming down with the flight, Pendlebury will have to work for it though. He's a left footer. Waits. Kicked a little lazily with the right. Thomas gives it back to him, threads the eye of the needle. Swan, Pendlebury still coming. Swan got it now for Cloak. Just missed him. Slattery, Watson. And the Bombers are off the hook. Oh, desperate stuff in defence to Essendon. He's working hard. Always back through the corridor, you'll see it at every Watson. opportunity. Just kicks in the nick of time. Clark will get there first. McPhee has run hard from half back to create the contest. Clark, well done McPhee, but weight of numbers wins out for Collingwood. O'Brien stabs it to the wing and finds O'Brien, who gives it to Medhurst. He's got Brown in short, he goes the longer option to Cloak. Almost within range, he kicks back to Brown, and Brown will have a shot at goal. 35 metres out, 45 the transition degrees. to pick up their man, Rob. They're getting caught on the way back, aren't they? Yeah, the Collingwood rebound's catching them out. Lee Brown has converted. Three points to difference. The goal in this game, and just had the seven disposals. Fraser, handballs to Tuvi. And out wide to Davis. They've got some territory here to work with Collingwood. This is where I've been uh, worried about them in recent times. On the transition now, they've got time to find a man, but Collingwood seem to be able to get free players here. O'Brien to Barham. McPhee, Anthony pinched it out of his hands. Well, I'd expect this is a soda for him. And this would put the Pies back in front. There it is.
in a 19-goal game, a low-scoring match. It is a decisive contribution. Collingwood back in front. Love it with one arm held. Did well to get it onto his boot. Davey and Watson. Davey just couldn't find the handle. Barham, well tackled. Got into the back of the man over the ball. Jetta's free kick. Love it now. Tries one of those spectacular breaks. Couldn't get through the gap. Couldn't get a clean kick. Gives Jetta another go at it. He gives to Ryder. He deserves a go. And he gets it and puts the Bombers back in front. How good is that from Patrick Ryder? He has not been off the ground, that young man. Sensational stuff. Love it. Tried to take on everyone in the Collingwood team. Eventually, <laughs> he came out to Ryder. And the excitement, he doesn't show much emotion, Paddy Ryder. He knows how well he's gone today, Rob, and yeah. he's on fire. It's just a fantastic result and a terrific performance by Ryder. Odds were against him. I don't think Collingwood's worked him over by half. They really should have jumped into him and made life They're tough for the, hard. Yeah. We saw Lovett work hard, two or three efforts at the footy, finally freed it up out to Ryder for the goal on the run. Another Essendon takeaway. Dyson onto his natural side, sitting it. Oh, riding hard. Monfries waiting down. Jetta just couldn't break. Still, the Bombers are dangerous. Those ants can do good things, but Zaharakis just not able to get any hook on that. Couldn't it's take it. Beams. In the back of the packs, McPhee under fierce pressure. Coughed it up. Thomas against Lucas. Thomas found Beams. Kick smothered. Bombers out of danger. McPhee a sweeping handball. Uh, Jenner who fell over. Tried to tap it to Davey. He's chased down by Goldsack. Forces another turnover. Clark inside 50. Good kick. Mark taken by that man, Pendlebury. I don't know if he can get the distance. The first four games of this season for Scott Pendlebury. Had his career best match last week, 35 disposals. Today, he's coming up for his 28. Beautiful kick. Pies back in front. In the game. He has, uh, they've found something today in Paddy Ryder in the ruck. Well, it's another hit out. That's 24 to Ryder, 22 to Fraser. Magpies back in front, but Essendon will have a go at it here. Love it, Murray. Long ball. Lucas up. Two Collingwood men against him as Lucas didn't really contest. I reckon Matty Knights could well give him five minutes just up around the middle. Just get him involved. Love it, Murray. To Watson. To Myers. Chased down by Anthony, but not before a scrubby old kick. Goes straight to Davis, the big wind-up from Leon Davis. It's home. Pies by 11. They love him, and well they might. He's a bit of a showman. Stanton, wrapped up by Cox. Clark, just now Collingwood winning the vital stoppages. Ryder throws it onto the left. Zaharagas looks tired. Davey just can't pick it up. Now he does. Run down, free kick, holding the ball. And the pies away. And the advantage rule is invoked here. Dale Thomas. It's all starting to turn the Magpies' way. He beat off Dempsey with relative ease. And he can turn defence into attack with a long Great. bouncing run. McCaffrey not able to hang on to it. He'll try and help Cloak out of this. Off Thomas's boot, yes, free kick to Essendon for Al The only problem was the Essendon defenders were so tired they couldn't run out of defence. Medhurst, Thomas, oh! Kick smothered. Swans back on the ground, handballs back to Brown. Could almost ice the game here. It's two goals to difference in favour of Collingwood. To have played on, and the Bomber fans, as you can see, don't like it. Collingwood continue to attack. Three kicks in front. Fraser to Rocker. And the veteran runs in. And he's given it. It's a free kick against Anthony. And he knew that. Why he went and kicked the goal, you'll never know. Because the umpire had already indicated. Anthony saw him. And he ridiculously ran on and slammed it through. I was running in with him. But then he's closer to the whistle, I guess. I reckon that's just great strength. 
Got to let forward and back go at it like that. Yeah, I tend to look. I tend to agree with you. I reckon Anthony Rocker got the best body position. I don't think it was in the back. Fletcher fisted it away. Stanton to love it. He gets past Davis. Great acceleration bar, and he can't even catch him. Look at the speed of Lovett. He has about four bounces now on the left. Kicks to Jetta, who can run on and kick a goal here and make it interesting. Jetta. Goal. Hello. <laughs> Great play by Lovett. Legs. And he set up that goal for the Bombers, and it's eight points of difference. I reckon Andrew Lovett would like the coaching of Matthew Knights, which is basically, if you think you can take the opposition on, do it. And he gives them full confidence too. And uh, that bit of bold footy is the reason why the Bombers got the goal. It was about an 85, 90 metre play by the time Lovett got... Predicted rain all day, Tim. It's come in the last five minutes. It's really getting heavy now. It's extremely dark and getting greasy underfoot. Oh, you tipped this. You latter day Mike Williamson. Beautifully done. Eight points in it. Bombers haven't given it away yet. Beautifully done by Watson. Goes to Stanton. Just couldn't hang on. Clark keeps him corralled. Stanton backpedals and then lofts it. Monfries is coming, so is Lloyd. Monfries very nearly snared it. Essendon still dangerous. Monfries back for seconds. Lovett has a go. Did he get it high? No, he didn't. Davis swings it out on the full. It's a bomber free kick. They were stiff not to get a free kick there, the Bombers, for holding the ball. Man. Pressure right back on it. Ricky Dyson's got it. That's, it. That's the one. As I said earlier, there hasn't been a two-kick game between these teams on any day of the year for eight years. Anzac Day 2001, it was eight points. Dyson is a left footer. He's the right man oh. for the moment. He spears him home. And the margin is just two points. Swing him off balance. And Dyson was always a chance to kick that goal, a good chance. 27 and a half minutes have expired. No idea how long to go. Collingwood leads by two. How massive is this set of bounce? Joe Watson has created more goals from clearances than any other player in the competition. Watch for him. He won the last one. He's an absolute specialist at it. Here right he goes. of the tap to Watson. Didn't have it. Play on is the call. Love it, Murray working his way forward. He's been pinged for a throw. Ball, big call. Move it on. Play on. Scott Pendlebury. Long into the pocket. Rocker sets himself. Cloak throws it on the boot. Throw in. Point would have been a better result for Essendon. Yeah, out of bounds, a good result for Collingwood. Might be time enough yet. But not a long left, a lot of time left. Fraser and Ryder and McCaffer try to paddle it to advantage. Ball slippery now. Been raining for a few minutes. McPhee gets Essendon moving. Love it. This could be the last gasp for the Bombers. Attacking at Monfries. Just fall of the centre. They're dangerous when they move it quickly. Dyson. Jetta. If it was set for him, he's got it. He's got the open goal in front of him. Oh, he couldn't get it out of his boot. Oh. The Bombers. Can you believe that? Seemed like he had all the time in the world. Look at his slippery. That is incredible. It looked like it was a certain goal. Don't you love the way Essendon played that on from their defensive 50? Collingwood by a point. Lockyer brings it in. Ryder sandwich between two pies. Back of the Packers, Winderlich. Quick handball to Hocking. Back to Lovett Murray. He goes short. It's a mark to Zaha. Scenes here. David Zaharakis puts Essendon back in front after all looked lost. Stack the back line. Well, Look at him go down. The Bombers. There's about 18 players going deep in defence. Every single Essendon player is going to go into defence now and try and clog it up. Sensational bit of play. Good composure there from Love at Murray. And Zaharakis under pressure made great contact.
Well, it's a magnificent fight back by a never-say-die Essendon. But Collingwood will have to ask themselves how they let it come to this. And Ryder rises to the heights again. Tuvi tries to crash through. As that time... It's over! The brothers have won it! <laughs> they have snatched victory from the jaws of defeat! A magnificent Anzac Day win. The Magpies left to ponder how and why. Essendon by five points. Great scenes and well done, Bombers. They never gave up. Young team, back their coach. And they must have got that last goal with only about six or seven seconds left on the clock. Unbelievable. We, we, thought, we thought the Essendon Carlton game was good a couple of weeks Matthew ago. Matthew Lloyd said it was his best win in five years. They've just topped that now today on Anzac Day. That will have to rate as one of the greatest victories for any one of these Essendon players. Against the odds, they had David Hill go down the first two minutes. They couldn't make an interchange. Paddy Ryder, the effort that he put in across the whole game this afternoon was phenomenal.